everyone today i'm going to show you how to make these super cute and simple leggings sorry i don't have a big enough space to show you them in full but i wanted to let you all know that this is a free pattern it is the hala leggings i'm not sure how to pronounce hala but hopefully that's correct i'll be sure to include a link to where you can purchase this pattern down below but this is super simple and definitely a must for winter time now that it's getting colder so i wanted to show you all and if you're interested in the fabric i'll also have a link to that down below but without further ado let's get started the first thing i want to show you all is the pattern pieces it's actually just one piece for these leggings so that's a score um i cut these at the cuff line there's gonna be two lines at the bottom i cut it at the cuffs and you'll notice that since it's just one pattern piece you might be wondering, where's the waistband? Where's the cuffs? It actually has a cut chart here. But because I like to keep things consistent in my shop, I'm just using my bummies waistband. This is the big noggin bummies. And they work perfectly on these hala leggings. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And then with the cuffs, I do just go by the size chart and cut out my cuffs. So let me show you the pieces now. So you're going to need two of the leggings pieces. And you want to cut them married, meaning you'll have a left leg and a right leg. If you need any tips on this, my previous video, I showed how to cut out leggings. And then here I have my waistband, it's just folded in half, and my two leg cuffs. So the first thing that I like to do is just sew my waistband down. Um, just how it's folded right now, I'm going to sew it down the side, obviously lining it up a lot better than that. Same with my cuffs, I'm going to just fold them directly in half and sew down this line and this line so i'm going to do those three pieces and come back so this is what those should look like i just kept them in my chain um so those are sewn up and i'm going to show you what to do with your leg pieces so the first thing you want to do is have them laid out um right sides together so normally when i cut this out they're already right sides together just to make things faster, but I wanted to show you all the two pieces, so let me lay this out real quick. Okay, so it should look something like this. And next, what we're going to do is sew this curve and sew this curve. Now, you might want to um, add something to the back curve so you know which one it is, but I'm just going to keep it like this because normally the back is a lot higher than the front. So it's easy to remember, but if you need an extra um, reminder, you can add a clip back here or something. But I'm just going to sew it down, and I'll show you on my serger. So this is my brother's serger. Here are my settings in case you need them. There we go. And my side settings. Let me check real quick. I have it at like 1.5 for the differential. 3. My knife is off, and I have it at um five for the stitch width so again like i mentioned we're just going oops that's the wrong side we're just going to sew down these curves and i wanted to show you on my machine because i know curves can be a little intimidating on the serger and i'm just using a one fourth inch seam allowance i'm not sure what the pattern calls for but that's a seam allowance i use for pretty much anything so i'm just going to start And since this curves out, I just straighten it. Sorry, my table's all shaking. I have to attach my tripod to the table. And obviously when I, the serger is going off, everything shakes. So I apologize for that. But I'm just going to do the other curve the exact same way and come back with the next step. So at this step, I actually like to add my waistband. So if you grab your waistband, we are going to fold it so that it creates a little tube. I never know how to describe this, but if you see what I'm doing, we created, you know, this little waistband here. And now I'm going to make sure that I line up this seam with the back of my leggings. I like doing this part because that way I don't have to mess with 
Sorry, I went to grab my scissors. That way I don't have to mess with trying to remember. Or if you use your clip, you know, that that's easy too. I just like getting this part out of the way. So I'm going to open up the leggings and line up this with this. And there we go. And I'm actually just going to <laughs> pinch it here. But if you are newer to sewing, you could even add some clips. But all you want to do is stretch the waistband evenly. So you could go ahead and add a clip where both of my fingers are at. And then stretch it the other way and add two more clips where my fingers are at. But like I said, I'm just going to attach it now. And a quick tip, if you need your waistband to go right side up, you can do a quick check like this. So I'm holding it where the back is and I'm flipping it up to make sure that it is the right side. So my print is supposed to go this way, so it worked out. And I'm actually going to attach um, a, what's it called? I'm going to attach my tag. This is what my compliance tag looks like, if anyone was ever wondering. And I'm just going to attach it while I, I attach the waistband. But I wanted to show you that, so let's go to the next step. So again, I'm holding it at the back where, where the back is, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm just going to place it under and make sure I grab all three layers. I'm going to warn you now, my camera is going to shake a lot. Again, I'm sorry. But what I like to do is just stretch it to where that middle point is and then just go all the way. The key is to just stretch the waistband. So I'm trying to make sure that my waistband is evenly stretched all throughout. And I'm maintaining the three layers. Turn on my knife real quick so I can cut this off. But I like to keep it off because when I'm attaching my tag, I just fold it in half, kind of crease it right here, and then I'm going to place it under and try to get it really centered. And I actually grab it from under here while I'm feeding it so that it doesn't shift. Let me grab my scissors. Okay. And then I just clip it like about half an inch and pull these. And that's going to form a little knot. And then I'm going to tie these off and we'll move on to the next step. But that's what the waistband, I mean, <laughs> the tag looks like. It did go a bit off center, but that's okay. So sorry these are upside down, but I just laid them like this so I can show you the next step. The next step is going to be to sew all the way up, up one leg and down the other. There's just going to be one big, big line and you can straighten it out like this once you're doing it. So it's not going to be hard because it should just straighten out like this and go um, easily in your serger. So I'm going to do that. And then show you how we do the cuffs and we're almost done okay so now that that is done here is one of my legs and here's one of my leg cuffs we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the waistband which is just folding this in half so that we can form our little cuff and I'm just going to make sure to line up the edges the raw edges I mean And again, you just take the seam side and line it up with your um, seam of the leg. So like this, and again, you can use the flip test to just flip it out and make sure that it's going to be the right side. This one's actually wrong, so I'm going to try again. <laughs> Even after you've been sewing a while, sometimes you forget which is the way to do it. But okay, now that's the right side. So I'm just going to keep it in there. 
and sew it on and show you how I do that and I'm going to do the same with this other leg cuff and just stick it inside my the bottom of my the leg <laughs> so we're back at the serge and I'm just going to do the same thing that I did with the other waistband or with the waistband and just try and line up all my layers so here's one leg sorry I'm having a tough time lining it up okay in there and I'm just gonna go for it. I like to start like at an angle and then straighten it out so I can get in there. And then just go all the way. Making sure to bring all my layers over. And lining up those raw edges. And here I just like to continue on and keep going for about an inch. And again, just cut off, tie it, those little looper threads. And I'm going to do the other one off camera and we'll be done. Here is the finished product. Sorry, my table is kind of small so I have to drag it out. But there is our finished leggings, size 3T. I hope this video was helpful and um, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next video.